everyone, this is Mira from Fit for Good with another online all seated session for you. Get ready for a whole body workout. We will put these core muscles, upper and lower body ones, on fire. We'll begin like the usual with a warm up and then we'll get into the heart of the session. Two rounds of six movements, 45 seconds of work to 15 seconds of rest. And then we'll finish off with gentle stretching routine. All you need is a sturdy chair, a bottle of water, and perhaps a pair of dumbbells. I'm using just normal jars, nothing really heavy today. Now, the most important is to start with the correct position. Please sit down and feel comfortable. Place your feet flat, toes straight ahead or slightly out. Knees are forward, never caving them in and you would like these abdominal muscles to stay tight at all times. Maintaining a nice straight back, uplifted chest and shoulders rounded back, not forward. So from this position, we will begin with a gentle march. When you march, although it seems easy, please think about not going this way marching. So you would like to keep the alignment between your hip, knee and heel. So all needs to go forward. Nothing goes in or out like that, yes? So let's do it. Marching gently, don't worry about high knees, just swing those arms, start feeling nice and warm. Just breathe, in and out, rhythmically. Now I'd like you to go stepping in, and as you step in, I'd like you to go step out. And now step in, keep on swinging your arms, and step out. So you could do it at the same time or just one at a time. Let's go for one at a time and now your arms go into a jack. There we go. Nice and slow. That's it. We don't want any expansive and fast movements just yet. Breathe. Three, two, one. One, great job. Now I'd like you to go for a twist. You can keep your arms like so or let them swing around your body freely. When you twist your body from left to right, your head follows. Breathe. Don't get dizzy if you have to stop in the middle and twist to the other side. Three, two, one. Great job. Now I'd like you to lift your arms up and down in a nice straight line up and down. Can you add some heels up and then toes up? Heels up and toes up. So we are doing the heel toe rock with arms extending overhead and then at the back. That's it. Great for your back, arms, and heels. Three, two, one. Now I'd like you to go for a T position, squeeze shoulder blades and let's go for dynamic hugs. Open and hug, open and hug. And as you are doing this, try and give me some leg extension. Forward. That's it. Three, two, one. Shoulder rolls back and forward. Great job, everyone. Now let's take it easy. I'd like you to go for neck circles. Let's loosen this neck up. Two big circles one way and to the other direction. Feel this neck rolling from shoulder to shoulder and down. Ooh, that feels great. And now I'd like you to go for lean forwards gently 
and up. If you could now, as you lean forward, try to touch the floor and then look up, extend the position of your body. Down, exhale. Up, inhale. Oh, it feels so good. Down, in, exhale. Up, inhale. One last time. Down, exhale. Up, inhale. And now I'd like you to go for some nice around the world with your torso. So you go forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. And let's change. If you cannot, for whatever reason, go for full circles, just go side, 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 and then do gentle forward and back. Just little swing from hip to hip and then pelvic tilt from up and down. That's fine. Let's finish here. Last circle, three, two, one, and relax. Shake it off. Great job. I will see you shortly for the main part of this session. Let's start. In the heart of today's session is strength and core workout containing two rounds of six movements. The work to rest ratio is 45 seconds of work to 15 seconds of rest, making the workout a little bit intensive. If you would like to decrease the intensity, please stop a little bit earlier before the 45th second, make a little less repetitions or reduce the weight that you're using. Now prepare yourself. The first movement is box roll with a step touch. I'm demonstrating all these six movements for you now. So the box step with a roll. We'll be starting with a box roll and we'll be stepping to the side. So it's like a little hip opener. You don't have to go all the way to the side. You could just do a little step touch. Next movement, a rope jumping. Now, you've got few options here. The easier is to go skip, skip, skip. The bit more difficult one would be to go two leg bounce. For this one, you would like to lean slightly back and tighten your core muscles to support you, keeping your back straight. If you are going to do also the rope arms, that will be incredibly beneficial for your rotator cuff and general mobility of your arms. Movement number three will be your abdominal curls, of course. We can't go without them. So you can have higher intensity versions of hands to the side of your ears or behind your neck. So you will go inhale, exhale at three, and back up three. So the count is one, two, three, one, two, three. Exhale forward, one, two, three. Inhale up, one, two, three. So I'd like you to break the movement rather than one big movement up and down. I'd like you to cut it into three to make sure that we put a little extra effort when it comes to your abdominal muscles. If you find this difficult, hold on to the side of your chair. Movement number four is your oblique twist for nice waist. So we're working on the side here. What you are going to be doing is twist from side to side. This is the lower intensity version or for higher intensity, you would like to twist and lift the knee up and then twist, lift that knee up. So you're lifting the knee towards the side of the hip that you're twisting. The next movement 
is your chest press with leg extension. If you wish, you can grab your weights for this one. And for the chest press, you will press forward to full extension and back. Your elbows will be parallel to the floor and as you push forward or press forward, you will extend your leg as well. This way we are working not only on your chest, back and shoulders, but also your thighs. With straight back and strong core muscles to support that back. And last one is easy peasy, biceps curl, but extremely important functional strength exercise. We need these muscles for everyday lifting. So this is the easy option when you are keeping your elbows close to the side of your rib cage and weights are moving slowly up and down. I do not want to see this. This is not controlled movement. I'd like you to go for nice controlled movement and for those of you who would like can do a little kick under the seat or that hamstring curl for fitness of your hamstrings running behind your thighs. So those are your movements. They're easy, nothing really specific or high technicality so we can go straight into the workout. Please don't forget to keep hydrated. If you wished to challenge yourself for round two, grab those dumbbells and do all these six exercises with your weights. So we'll start without weights and we might add them for round two. Get yourself ready. We will begin with a box roll and step touch. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Box row with a step touch. You can do it. It's a great exercise for mobility of your arms and it's a little bit of a cardio there. Step touch to the side and back to the middle, each foot at a time and at the same time nice coordination going on. You imagine you've got that boxing in front of you and you just go quick. You can change direction of the boxing as well. We still have got time, it's a long interval. Go with the speed that is you're comfortable with and three, two, one one. Relax. Great job. That's a bodyweight exercise. It includes not only cardio but a little bit of strength as well. It's good for your mobility. Next one, movement, rope jumping. So prepare yourself. Three, two, one. Lower intensity option is skipping. Higher intensity option will be two leg bounce. When you do this, Please lean back a bit, tighten these abdominal muscles and breathe. Don't forget to breathe rhythmically in and out. Go for nice big arm circles. <sighs> yes, it's good to hear you breathing. You know you're doing the right thing. There is another 10 seconds left. We can do it. If you feel this is a bit too much, just stop now or reduce the amount of repetitions. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. Those abdominals are on fire. We're going for abdominal curl in about five seconds. Prepare yourself. Higher intensity or lower intensity. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and I'd like to break it down to three steps down and three steps up. Three steps down, exhale. Three steps up, inhale. High intensity version, let's do it, we can. That's right. Keep your back straight, go down as low as you can and when you come back up, use your core strength, lower back and abdominal muscles are all taking part. Last one, three, two, one, relax. Take a deep breath in, 
Now you've got your options, oblique twist, three, two, one, side to side, or side to side with a knee up. Whichever you decide, when you do the twist, please allow your head to follow, don't look at the screen, and really twist your torso. It's not twisting your arms like so, it's your entire torso that is twisted. Halfway, carry on, breathe, in and out. If you have to do less repetitions, or if this is too easy, grab the dumbbells for round two. Three, two, one. Great job, everyone. Get yourself ready, grab those dumbbells for a chest press with leg extension. I'm only demonstrating chest press with leg extension goes like that. Three, two, one. Press and keep these elbows parallel to the floor. When you kick forward, try to have a little hold for two seconds and only then put that leg down. Same with the press. All goes in a nice coordinated manner. Please keep your back straight. Breathe. There we go. We can do it halfway. Slow movement to full extension of these arms and then pull, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Kick forward, hold, push, three, two, one. Well done everyone. It's time to relax for 15 seconds, shake it off and prepare for biceps curl with or without kick. Three, two, one. Control biceps curls. Keep those elbows stuck to the side of your body and curl all the way to shoulder level. Don't twist your wrists and add a hamstring curl or oh, that's a gentle, really gentle kick under the seat. Breathe. <sighs> Don't rush it. It's a nice movement to ensure great biceps curl strength. <sighs> great job. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job, everyone. I'm going to very quickly come to the screen to grab Alex because he thinks he is the star of the show. Alex, come over here. He was about to, what were you about to do? To cover the screen with your white fluff. Okay, now it's time for you to come to your place. And we're having our break because we have completed round one. Please grab yourself a little sip of water. If you need longer pause, just Pause the video and grab yourself that extra break. We will begin round two very soon. Please decide what would you like to do. Would you like to go for higher intensity by adding weights from the beginning of round two? Or you would like to reduce the intensity of the workout by ditching those weights completely or reducing the amount of repetitions. You make this choice. Now, let's begin. Round two is coming. Boxing roll with step touch. I will grab those dumbbells because we can do it. Now, when you do the boxing roll, please make sure if you have got some weights in your hands, not to hit your nose. I've done that and it really hurts. So please take jolly good care. So three, two, one. It is time. Boxing roll with a step touch. Let's open these hips, move those legs and move these arms. <sighs> Breathe. You will soon find out how nicely those biceps are loaded. 
Change the direction of the boxing. Don't worry to stay in one position. And keep those arms, keep those arms moving. Halfway. This is your cardio interval. It's good for your heart and for your lungs, as well as for your arm strength. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. Shake it off. Rope jumping next. You don't really have much time to relax. That's why this is really high intensity one. Get yourself ready, back straight, core tight. Three, two, one. Jumping. If you wish, you could add dumbbells, you don't have to. Now, for those of you who find this a bit too easy, go for two leg bounce. Go back, slightly incline, tighten your stomach muscles and go for real nice high knees up at the same time. Halfway, we can do it. You shouldn't be feeling any lower back pain. If you do, go back to skipping. Lower back pain can be avoided. Three, two, one. By tightening your stomach muscle and making your lower back stronger with all these core exercises. Next one, abdominal curls. Get yourself ready, nice wide stance. Back is straight. Take a deep breath in, three, two, one. That's it. You don't need the dumbbells, that's only if you really want to make it hard. Break it into three movements, go as far down as you can, exhaling. Go back up in three steps, inhaling. Exhale down, inhale. Inhale up, exhale down, keep your lower back straight. <sighs> Few more seconds left, three, two, one. Great job everyone. Get yourself ready for oblique twist, for nice oblique muscles all the way here. That is the line. Get your dumbbells in front of your tummy and three, two, one. Twist from side to side. Allow your entire torso to turn left all the way to the right hip. Now, if you want to make it a bit more intensive, add a knee up to the side that you're twisting towards. High knee, high knee, there we go. Keep your back straight, chest up at all times and breathe rhythmically, in and out. Don't rush it. 10 seconds. <sighs> we can do it. I feel it already burning. Three, two, one. Great job, everyone. That is a great load up your abdominal muscles. We really fire them up. Now it's time for some upper and lower body. Get yourself ready for a chest press. Three, two, one. Press those dumbbells and pull back. Press and pull. If you wish, go for leg extension. When you do the press and the leg extension, try to reach full range of movement. Full range to Fully extended arms in front of your chest. Keep your back straight. You can roll gently your tailbone. That is absolutely fine. As long as you don't really round your back like so. We don't want that. We want you to keep your back straight and have a nice control movement. Keep those elbows parallel to the floor. Three, two, one. Amazing job. One more left and we are all done. Biceps curl with hamstring curl if you wished. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. Control movement. There is no rush here. All the way up to shoulder levels and back down slowly. 
gravity is not pulling those dumbbells down, it's your muscle that is helping you to gently lower the weight down. That's it. You can do it. Breathe. Keep your chest up and back straight. Your abdominal muscles are tight. <sighs> Breathe. It's a long working interval. I know we're nearly there. Three, two, one. Great job, everyone. I'm very proud of you. You should be very pleased. I will see you shortly for gentle stretching. Well then everyone, it is time for gentle stretching. Let's begin by taking one big breath in and exhale out as you press those palms together. Throw them down, if you can, chin down. And then one more, in, look up and exhale down as you draw those palms down. Shake, great job. Now it's time for you to lean to the side. Take a deep, deep breath in, in the middle and lean to the side. If you can, extend one hand overhead. If not, just bring it all the way down. The opposite hand is there to support you. Come back up, take a deep breath in, Exhale to the right and extend your left arm up and over to stretch back oblique muscle arm. All these elements that we've covered during the workout. And come back up. Now I'd like you to take a deep breath in, in the middle and twist all to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Try and grab hold of the seat to exaggerate that stretch. It's great for the flexibility of your spine. Come back to the middle. Take deep breath in. As you exhale, look over your right shoulder. Keep that position. And come back to the middle. Now I'd like you to take deep breath in and exhale down. Touch the floor. Don't look at the screen now. Give you a sign when we will come back up. And just relax in this position. We are opening every vertebra at a time. Neck is relaxed and it's great for your lower back and hips. Now take deep breath in. And slowly come back up if you have to press on your knees and gently come back up. That's great job. One arm out to the side, across your body and press. The opposite arm out to the side, across and press. And now both arms out into a T position. And now try and grab hold of the seat and push your chest out and look up. And now relax. Arms out into a T. Now interlace your fingers in front of you. Chin down and roll your tailbone in, in between your legs and round your back. And gently come back up. Great job. Now it's time for a little bit of stretching for quadriceps and calves. One leg up and that's called knee hugs. Try and bring that knee as close as possible to you. You could step on the seat if you have to. And relax. The opposite leg comes up. And gently, very gently, you place it down. Now sit towards the edge of the chair, feel stable. One leg is stretched forward with toes pointing up. The opposite leg is there for your balance. 
Now you can lean forward in the middle or towards the stretch leg, which makes it a little bit more intensive stretch. You make the choice or you could stay here. Three, two, one, come back up. Opposite leg out, toes up, inhale. As you exhale, you try to touch your toes, shin or knee or quads, or just simply lean towards your bent knee and come up very gently and slowly. And now for your quadriceps, I'd like you to go diagonally, knee down. This is one version of it. The higher intensity one to really stretch those quadriceps would mean you will lift this foot up and you will keep the heel as close as possible to your glutes and relax and to finish off change direction straight back allow that knee to go down diagonal um, vertically down or grab that foot up make sure you feel stable grab hold of the chair Feet are always flat for better balance. Relax. Shake. Pat. And give yourself a nice big round of applause. Well done everyone. You have completed this full body core and strength workout. You've done really well and have to be really proud of yourself. We put on fire this core, upper and lower body. Great job. Please feel free to comment on the session on our website or Facebook page. Give me thumbs up, share it with a friend. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Take good care. Thank you so much for joining me today.